Hypersoft here, welcome to another Minecraft modern tutorial. It's been a while since I've actually done tutorial on this topic. Yes, that's right. It is. The redstone generator. So I actually got this working like over like two months. It's like really small things to make it work, but it works. So here you go, this is what it looks like. It says how much RF per tick, the cooldown and time left. And got a work in progress bar. Currently, there's no power. So if I just put in a piece of redstone, you see 20 RF per tick. Cooldown goes down. And that lasts three seconds and that's gone up. So if I just put in some more. See, three, two, one. Then it takes a new one. And it generates it. And you can see the progress bar is actually going up. Now, redstone blocks actually generate more off the tick i've just changed that um cool thing is save and quit and if i just load it back up again we should see that everything now saves as well which is good so 50 rf per tick we're going at and they last quite a long time so i'll just show you when the bar's completely full And there you go. It won't take any more once it's full, which is great. And it's now saved that. And yeah, it works. So, show you how I fixed this. So, first, over to the tile entity. I think it's actually in the common proxy. Uh, I forgot to register it first. So, it's just line of code here. To just to register this. Then, uh, over to the tile entity. Um, I made sure that I could get the stuff with the field so I can get the increase for tick. Just change that. Um, these should be exactly. I did not change it. I tried to change these to short, but then I noticed an error happen. There you got this read from MT, which is the same. And, um,. I changed this to test whether the world object is not nothing. And then um, this can use does all the stuff that happened before. I removed this one to decrease it because it doesn't actually take it away. This this is what takes it away. And um, these two are very important methods if you want to save your stuff. So you can find these in the description of this video. Okay. Uh, the slot, I removed the other method and uh, it will accept every single type of um, like item. That's just for easiness. Now in the GY, um, not much has changed here. It's just this. This is what renders the RF per tick. Just gets the RF per tick. Quite simple stuff. That just does a cooldown. These aren't too hard. Now I noticed there's a problem with my um, progress bar. For some reason, this method doesn't work here, but works here, even though it's pretty much exactly the same. So you can get that this method here in the description as well. And uh, yeah, this is this is just drawing it. And yeah, that that is pretty much it. So. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, I am out. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial, so yeah, go check them out.